It's another breaking news edition of Your Pet's Health Tip of the Day, this time dealing with the new strain of canine flu that has been talked about on the news. Here with all of the latest and most accurate information, once again, is Dr. Langlois. Hello again, everybody. Dr. Langlois here with your Pet Health Tip of the Day, and I'm joined once again by my faithful friend Maverick here, and this is another one of those special edition uh, formats of Your Pet's Health Tip of the Day, and it has to do with what uh, some of you may have been seeing on the news lately regarding this new strain of canine flu virus that has been, unfortunately, uh, causing quite a problem in the Chicago area and sickening a lot of dogs there, and unfortunately, some dogs have succumbed to this. And I just wanted to kind of let everybody know where we're at as far as what we know about this new strain and, uh, you know, things kind of going forward. So here's exactly what we kind of do know. We do know that this is a new strain, at least new as far as it's never been seen in the U.S. before. It is a strain that was prevalent in the Asian dog population, and it is a strain that appears to be more virulent. And what we mean by that is when dogs come down with it, they seem to be getting much more severe symptoms, uh, much more severe coughing, some of them progressing to really bad pneumonia signs, secondary bacterial infections, things of that nature. Uh, higher fevers, dogs just really feeling really down and out and requiring some, you know, sometimes pretty severe hospitalization care uh, to overcome this infection. We also know that this particular strain of the virus does appear to be able to go over to cats as well, and cats potentially can come down with it. Now, in the people that I've talked to, we don't have any cases that we're aware of of cats actually contracting this, but it does seem to serve as cats potentially being a reservoir for transferring uh, the virus to a dog that might be in the house. The other thing I wanted to stress, and this is especially for people more in the Susquehanna Valley region and things like that, is we have not seen this strain anywhere in Pennsylvania yet. Really, this has been isolated to the Chicago area. I have talked to some colleagues who think that maybe they might be seeing a case or two in the Ohio area, but they're not really sure yet, and there's been no testing to confirm this. So, you know, there's no reason to really get panicked or concerned that this is spreading, you know, all over the U.S. really, really quickly. With that said, when we dealt with the original strain of canine flu back in 2004 to 2006, when you know, we first really started seeing this, it did very slowly spread across the entire United States. And it started more down south and then kind of worked itself up the east coast and then slowly worked itself west. So with today's modern travel of dogs, both from breeding kennels and, and people taking their dogs on vacations and things like that, I'll be honest in that I do expect this new strain, if it stays fairly stable in, in the dog population to spread. Um, I do expect it to, you know, potentially spread through other areas in the country. However, where it may pop up and how quickly that spread goes is something that really nobody can answer. Um, it took quite a long time for the original canine flu strain to really go through the dog population. And so we're really not quite sure since we're dealing with a new strain here exactly what may happen or may not happen. Uh, you know, it may be a case of where this is a very what we call unstable strain, at least in our dog population, and, and won't spread anywhere outside of Chicago. We, we just don't know that yet, unfortunately. The next question that comes up is in regards to the canine flu vaccine that is out there, and will the current vaccine provide protection against this strain that we're dealing with right now? And again, the answer is we're not quite sure. Uh, the research is currently ongoing, but the current recommendations basically are to make sure that you do have your dog up to date on canine flu vaccine at this point, because we do think it will at least provide some protection against the um, current uh, strain that is, is out there in Chicago. And, and if it does spread across, you do want to make sure that your dog is at least protected uh, with the current flu vaccine. There is no vaccine out there for cats right now. Um, whether they will be in development, we don't know, because again, we really haven't seen any cats necessarily come down with this, even though, you know, experimentally and in theory-wise, they could and, and could spread it. So we're just not sure if there's any kind of vaccine in development uh, that might be worked through uh, for a vaccine for canine flu for cats, which I guess would be feline flu at that point, but that's neither here nor there. The other thing people, you know, need to remember is that if you do notice any signs of kennel cough or severe or more severe kennel cough in your dogs, please see your veterinarian. It's important that we do, you know, track these things. And if we do notice that, you know, this strain happens to be spreading outside of Chicago into other states, we want to be on top of it and we want to be able to treat it quickly and, 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 and take care of it. Like I said, there have been unfortunately some deaths that have been associated with this canine flu outbreak in Chicago. Those death numbers have been very, very low compared to the number of dogs getting sick. This is the same thing that happened when the original strain of canine flu came out, and I want people to be aware of that. We were suffering some deaths, unfortunately, from the original strain as well, 
in dogs that were just more prone to potentially suffering severe side effects and complications from infection. So the numbers wise, they're not really too much different as far as the number of dogs that unfortunately have succumbed to this uh, strain of canine flu versus the original strain that we were seeing. The other thing I wanted to stress is that we really have not seen any evidence of this being able to be transmitted to humans. Uh, you know, there doesn't appear to be a zoonotic risk with it, so uh, that's something that you don't have to worry about. However, the flu, that this particular strain can live in the environment for 24 or 48 hours, so basically it's just practicing good hygiene skills. You know, if you're at a dog park or something like that, make sure you wash your hands really well and, and, and uh, you know, practice good normal hygiene uh, protection that you would use to protect yourself from any uh, potential diseases, and uh, that's all that uh, you really need to worry about as far as that potential uh, risk of spread. So that's where we kind of standing are now. We will have updates with this if we do notice that it's starting to spread outside Chicago or if we have any kind of other updates that, that may come through the pipeline. But I did want to get this out pretty quickly as I know it's been in the news and a lot of people will have questions and there may be concerns. So just make sure that you keep abreast with all the information going on. If you do have questions, remember what I've always said, which is your veterinarian is the best source of information, not the internet, not the news media, not any of these other outlets. Your veterinarian is going to have the best and most up-to-date and most accurate information on this. That's who you want to trust. So make sure if you have any questions at all about this new strain of canine flu and potential risk to your own dog, you talk with your own veterinarian as that is your special edition canine flu pet health tip of the day. As always, if you have more questions or have concerns about any medical conditions in your pet, be sure to check out these websites or, more importantly, contact your local veterinarian today for the most up-to-date and trusted information.